Huh? Recently, I was talking to someone about coming out publicly uh, regarding no longer being a believer in Yahweh and the Bible. I know there are pros and cons about doing this, and I thought I'd talk about that a bit today. We all want to be our authentic self. It's hard to live a double life. We talk one way in front of some people and another in front of others. We're always scared we'll mix up the two groups and let something slip to the wrong one. We're constantly surrounded by religious talk, and it's difficult to manage our own speech without outing ourselves accidentally. So we have reasons to want to just put it all out there and deal with the consequences and move on. However, it's nobody's business what we believe. So we're under no obligation to tell anyone that our religious views have changed. And as we all know, coming out is costly. So it's important to weigh the cost against what we might gain. I'm told that I'm brave to be willing to publicly speak the way I do. I'm not brave. I just had nothing to fear, as I have very little to lose. My parents are dead. They've been dead for a long time. A long, long, long time. My dad died when I was 15, and my mom died when I was 28. If my mom were still alive, I don't know that I could have come out. I'm pretty sure that I'd have kept quiet so as not to worry her. And I have children, and I was once a Christian who worried my children might end up in hell. So I can somewhat imagine what a Christian mother feels when she's positive in her own mind that her child will burn forever. Now, I wasn't wanting to put that on my mom. I knew my children wouldn't turn against me. I figured my sisters wouldn't stop talking to me and treating me well. And my grandchildren were young at the time. Well, they're still young, but um, I have seven, and the baby is about 18 months old, and the oldest recently turned 18 years old. But back when I came out, they were young, young, (laughs) and didn't even know or care about my beliefs. Probably still don't. I've never worked for a church So I was in no danger of losing my livelihood. And in fact, when I lost faith in the biblical gods, I wasn't even going to church. I had become a preterist, meaning I believed every biblical prophecy had been fulfilled in 70 CE, or by 70 CE. No need to gather together and pretend to eat Jesus' body and drink his blood till he come. He already came. More than that, I had become a universalist, believing we're all saved. So I was already at peace with putting aside the Bible and living my life in peace. (laughs) Thus, I didn't even have condemnation from a local congregation or members of the church coming to visit me to find out why I disappeared. I was also 62 years old. There's not much peer pressure when you get that old. For one thing, your peers have started to die. For another, at some point, we realize that, one, we don't give a rat's tail what anybody else thinks, and two, we know they don't think much about us anyway. This, of course, applies to all of us, but younger people don't always realize it. Think about it, though. Imagine you go out one day, and you see some person wearing weird clothes, holding a weird sign, dancing weirdly around weirdly picking their nose or whatever it might be that you find weird that they're doing. You might laugh or mention to someone with you that, you know, the person seems weird. But within 30 seconds, you've probably forgotten about the person. And you may never think of of them again the rest of your life. Well, that's how they are with you, too. They don't care what you're doing or what you think or believe. Even people we know don't think that much about us. Sure, they may mention us to someone saying something like, Did you hear that Ivy lost her faith? What do you reckon happened? But then they turn their attention to their own lives because they've got their own crap to deal with. So anyway, I'm not brave. But it does take bravery for some people to come out. Sometimes coming out destroys families. Some people do lose their livelihood. Some lose their spouse, and some lose their parents or their children. Some lose friends. 
Some lose life as they knew it. Their whole world is turned upside down. Some even lose their biological life. I went public because I wanted to make amends in some way. I was a very vocal Christian. I therefore want to be vocal about not believing Christian doctrine any longer. And it feels good to try to fix my mistakes somehow. And I want the world to know that I am no longer brainwashed to the point that I support things like slavery and the murder of little babies and misogyny and human sacrifice. Now, yes, a Christian must deny himself and give up his job or his family or his life to serve Jesus. But that's not the case with us non-Christians. As I said, we don't owe anybody access to our mind. Nobody's going to say to us, you never mentioned not believing in him to me. Nobody's blood is going to be on our hands because we didn't warn them that they're worshiping a human man or a villainous deity. So we have to consider carefully how much we're willing to lose in order to make amends or or be genuine or, or whatever else our reason might be for coming out. Only you know what you're willing to do in this regard and when, if ever, you're willing to do it. And even if you want to do something, it's not necessarily whole hog or none. There are ways to help spread truth without exposing yourself to danger. Even Christians know they don't have to be outspoken. Some preach or write Christian music or books or articles. But some encourage preachers or others who are out there broadcasting their belief system. Some provide money to spread Christianity. I myself mainly wrote articles. So I'm pretty much doing the same thing today, except I've added videos because it occurred to me one day that as much as I hate (laughs) watching or listening to people talk and would prefer reading, not everybody's like me. Again, only you know what you should do and, if anything, when you should do it and how you should do it. If you must do something, but are afraid or just don't want to out yourself for whatever reason you might have, you can do it quietly and secretly. You can help support someone who's doing it publicly. Whether you do that with money or encouraging words or watching and subscribing to their YouTube channel or or, or commenting on their videos or, or posts is your choice. Everything counts and everything helps. Not everybody's going to be on the front lines, nor nor can they be, nor should they. Do what's right for you. You're free. You no longer have to toe the line or or follow the crowd like you did as a Christian. You don't have to drink the Kool-Aid or grape juice or bleach or (laughs) any other liquid. And nobody on this side Here's whether you come out or stay hidden. Thank you all. Bye.